Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill is a classic self-help book that I personally think everyone should read. And I mean this, even though there are many who don't want to be money rich. This is because it consists of many great principles that can help you to get the best out of your life, as a human in the 21st century. In this video, I'm going to show you the one principle from this book, that has had the biggest impact on me, and hopefully, it can have an impact on you as well. Anyway, let's get right into it. This principle is from chapter 1 which is called, The Power of Thought by Napoleon Hill. The principle from this chapter is about the fact, that if you can believe, that you can achieve something, then your action is more likely to reflect this and go for the goal. This is also what Napoleon Hill calls for a burning desire. An unstoppable desire that should get you to the place where you want to be. Perhaps, this sounds a bit silly, so let me retell you a story from this chapter. A man named Barnes had a burning desire to become the business partner of Thomas Edison. This was not going to be easy, considering he didn't know Thomas Edison as a person, and he did neither have money to pay for the rail fare to where Thomas Edison lived. If you were in Barnes' situation and didn't have a burning desire, you would probably have given up at this point. However, Barnes was truly determined to find a way to get to the inventor, therefore, he decided to travel by blind baggage and the transport problem was solved. When he arrived at Thomas Edison's laboratory, some of the first words that he said to the inventor, was that he was going into business with him. In the first place, he didn't get the partnership that he wanted. Although, he got to work in his office. Remember, this was still incredible, and many would hear question, why Mr. Edison allowed an ordinary man like Barnes to work for him. Some years later, Mr. Edison recalled the following, I gave him the opportunity he asked for, because I saw he had made up his mind to stand by until he succeeded. In other words, Barnes' burning desire carried him into the office of the inventor, and later he got exactly what he desired. Mr. Edison had namely just built a new device called the Edaphone, but his salesman didn't think this product was capable of being sold. On the other hand, Barnes believed that it was possible to sell the device and luckily, he got his chance from Thomas Edison. This was a great decision by Mr. Edison because even though this made Barnes his business partner, Barnes also sold it successfully across the country. Regarding Barnes, he got what he wanted, and moreover, he became rich from the business partnership. That's the story, and if you didn't get the point of the story, then having a burning desire is the starting point of all achievements. From the day that Barnes desired to become the business partner of Edison, he was already working with him in his mind. In other words, his imagination turned into the reality because of his burning desire. So, to end this video, what is your burning desire? And if you have one, do you remember to live by it every single day? When that is said, thank you for watching this video. See you next time.